Hello everybody and welcome to episode 5 of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode and today I want to progress a little bit more through the quests and all that and get some into some machines at least somehow so for that we needed steel so steel is being slowly slowly but surely created here with the crude blast furnace it can't be inputted and outputted directly out of here so I just put a stack of coal coke and just a stack of iron ingots and it should do its thing uh, to get us some more of that. Plus over here we're making more creosote. I can't really uh, pull it out because I don't know which pipes I can do. I think we have cyclic in here, right? Cyclic. Cyclic has those those fluid thingies that might have been disabled probably. I think cyclic had those like fluid cables and stuff. It, it has dynamite and, and also um, and also the, the that's the inventory upgrade. It has a crafting upgrade as well I think but it doesn't seem to be in here or I don't see it. Uh, it doesn't matter. It has a storage bag. Ooh, that's just like a, just, just a bag. And that's the, the, the container transporter. And this was created when chest sack is used on Tyler TT. Okay, yeah. Okay, oh, it has the, is this the night vision helmet? It is. It's three glowstone and two orange dye. We can probably get to that. Hold up. I want that. Uh, no, I have uh, flowers here. Flowers. Up, 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 up. One, two. No, we just need two of these. So one dandelion yellow, yellow, one rose red, and one of these. This wasn't what I was planning to do, but um, we, we can at least do it because it's night vision and it's really cool. So it's gonna help us with, with the mining and stuff. And we can take that off. And now we have night vision. Is there, yeah, you can right click to toggle on and off. That's just cool. Okay, uh, this helmet can go back into here, for example, that's fine. Okay, so I have some more glass here that I need to toss away and we can put this glass back here. Uh, I made some sturdy casings, which aren't that difficult. It's just two bronze gears, two copper gears, and four bronze to make two of them. So I just made four because we're gonna need them anyway for other stuff. And we can make, finally, a carpenter. We are gonna need a generator. So if we look at a generator, can we make, for example, this coal generator? Two coal, cobblestone, iron casing. Is iron casing like a super difficult recipe? It's a hardened casing. Of course it is. <clears throat> Why wouldn't it be? And tin electron tubes. So do we have, this is a draconic generator, this won't work. Sterling generator, again, too advanced for me. This is compressed cobble furnace, ironing it, redstone, we can do that. Iron to redstone, I said two. I hate how my mouse double clicks sometimes. And then we need compressed cobble, three, four, five. I need to go mining again because, or make a cobblestone generator because we, we just don't have one right now. Is it like this? No, it's furnace in the middle. No? Hello? It's rival generator? Compressed cobblestone. Two redstone, furnace, and ironing it. Oh. <laughs> Wrong compressed cobblestone. <laughs> I didn't notice. Oh okay. yeah. Furnace rival generator. One two, four. Go up top. Uh, let's get some, I have some charcoal bits. These will probably burn out pretty fast. Oh, hello lag. Wonderful, make me powers. Uh, and this guy uh, is the, I was trying to make more storage crates because they are really cool and amazing and I need impregnated sticks which are just two wood, which we can do like so. And wood and wood and put that in there. And then I assume we need water <clears throat> so I'll bring this guy over. Are you gonna do your thing now? No recipe. Power, water, creator, surplus. What and what now? Impregnated stick. Makes seed oil. Two wood in a carpenter. Or do I need seed oil or olive oil to make impregnated sticks? Because seed oil could be made in the squeezer with seeds. So do I need a squeezer? Squeezer. This is a sturdy casing, two tin gears, which we can do. Uh, let's grab eight tin. 
I'm gonna make the two gears. There, you, you can melt. It's pretty fast to melt, so that's fine. What else do we need? Treated wood, glass. Okay, so the gear should be ready any moment now. Two gears, wonderful. And then a couple pieces of a glass and squeezer. Nice. I'll put you right over here. And then we have a bunch of seeds. Nice. And I might have to wait for it to make an entire bucket it's worth of, of things. And this is making five RF a tick, so it's probably, uh, if I break this, it's probably gonna put more power into here. Oh no, this is just very slow. Because this, this was full of power probably because it backlogged. Okay, uh, I need pipes, like ducts or something. I don't know which, like pipes we can do because we can finally complete this. So I'm gonna take, I think the bronze, we don't really need the aqueous accumulator because we can just use a sink and just pipe out of the sink unless that's disabled. And then you need an aqueous accumulator. Is an aqueous uh, difficult to make? It is iron gears, device frame, not that difficult. We can make it if we need it. I'll take the bronze. <clears throat> And then we have a gate for actual additions. We have, oh, you have the, the laser things. Laser. These guys, energy lasers. These these could be a thing. Gold cables, that's fine. But these could be a thing to transfer stuff over. Because then there's an advanced, then there's an extreme. The fluid laser is just the atomic reconstructor, which is an iron casing, which is a carpenter thing. And I don't know what beginning power is good. So if any of you know that I've already played this back, uh, what is good early power systems? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. But uh, we need 100 seed oil to make one set of impregnated sticks. <laughs> I think I think that's how it would work. Uh, and I assume the carpenter just takes power indefinitely or something. So I'm just gonna leave it be. Okay, let me wait for some seed oil and see if I can like bucket a, uh, bucket some out or put it in a, in a tank or something and I'll, I'll see about that. I think our best bet is to just go with immersive engineering for now because that's the, the mod that I know the most. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm familiar with industrial craft. I know what the machines do, but it's quite a rabbit hole to craft stuff of that, of that variety. So we're just gonna go here. We're gonna claim a loot chest for the blast furnace that I didn't claim at. And then we're gonna claim a loot chest for the engineer's workbench that I just made. And we're also gonna make the kinetic dynamo over here <clears throat> and get that quest. There it goes. So we're gonna claim another loot chest and then we can make the water wheel, which is gonna be super simple. I just need to toss some stuff away from my my place. Hold up. Go away you. And then I don't know where I put the, like the furnaces that I had. Um, furnaces, probably in here. <clears throat> okay, so the water wheel, water wheel. We need this guy, so that's water wheel segments, which is a bunch of sticks. So one, two, three, four, I believe. And I'm losing my voice. And then one, two, three, four. Apparently too many. Um, let's get another two sets of these. That's three and then four. Awesome. And then we just need some steel, which we should have in here. So that's wonderful to make the water wheel segments. I think we actually need three of these <clears throat> for one water wheel. So let's get another set of these going. Uh, that's gonna make three, four, nice. And another water wheel, awesome. And let's open up the loot chests. Also, I'll claim this one while we're at it. <clears throat> we get four resonating gems from Astral Sorcery. No idea. A fission controller. Okay, we get we get something. What are you? Build a multi-block reactor using reactor casing, reactor cells, cooler, moderate blocks. Place the controller on an edge or in a corner within one of the faces of the structure. Okay, sure. Yeah, you're going in somewhere over here. And what else did I get? Resonating gems. Wonderful. And then over here we get 64 factory blocks from Chisel. Wonderful. 
and 64 light blue concrete. Wow, great rewards. <laughs> so, so decorative. Okay, this is still making the seed oil. I'm just gonna leave it be. It's gonna make a bunch and it should be fine. It's just burning like tiny charcoal anyway, so it's all good. And let me set up the water wheels. Do we have like a three wide somewhere? We could do it on the wall here and place these like, uh, we need a kinetic dynamo somewhere. I think we can do, because <clears throat> we need a kinetic dynamo on the side, I think. So let's do, let's do like this. It's gonna take, I think if we do this. Don't know which side it has to face against. Hello? Ha ah, there it goes. <clears throat> I think this should be okay. Possibly move it one block forward. So over to here. And I have no idea which side needs to be on which, so it's, it's, I don't know. I forget, I'm gonna have to read on it. But that should be what we need. And then I need to give it some water flow in either from the top, from the back or somewhere. I need to, and then figure out how to how to dig all the holes that I need. So let me do that and we should be getting some power. I will also then uh, possibly complete this quest because we need the wire connectors, the relays, the wire coil and the capacitor. So we can just smack, I think a capacitor here and just wire the, the power around the base, which should be nice. I decided that we're gonna get a basement. As you can see over there, we have a little bit of a hole going downstairs and I haven't really dug a space for the water wheel yet. I just noticed that this carpenter is finished and I'm also running low on wood, so I did something outside for that. So this is gonna make us impregnated stick now, sticks now, which is gonna be cool. So with those, I can now finally make storage crates. Storage crates. I can make this wood casing gonna get us two even. And then I need treated wood and chests. I have chests here and I have treated wood here. And we can just get into some of these. Oh my God, technological advancements. I'm gonna get, I think, how many are we gonna get? Oh, we're running at low on power. Okay, that's fine, yeah. Just make me another two so I can get another two crates. And then we're gonna put, uh, I think I have the, 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 the these, I'll take just four. Actually, we're gonna, we can just set up a little, I mean, hoppers are kind of expensive. Oh, well, not really, they're just iron and chests, but um, we could set up a, a, a two, two wide thingy mob for, for just like a vanilla furnace, because we have the, the tiny charcoal, which we can put in as, a, as fuel. So that's made us some more of these, storage crate, storage crate, boom, boom, and boom, boom. Ah, two, please, thank you very much. And I'll put those over here. And now I can finally <laughs> move all of these chests. I also need to set up the kitchen again because I have all of this food food uh, that can't go anywhere. So I think I'm going to do that as well. I have a lot of things that I don't need on me at the moment. Hold up. Um, 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 um. Where do I have these? Can go away, not the stairs. And <clears throat> these I currently don't need on me. We can toss everything else in there. That can go in here, that can go in here. I need to put the engineer's workbench down, so let's put do that here, put it just like, no? Ha, okay. That can be used for some stuff, and this should just process the amount of uh, seed oil that we made, which is just like a bucket, wonderful. So, steel is still being made. Uh, outside, I'm getting I'm, I'm getting on a, on a tangent here. Uh, I just set up a stack of dirt in the floor, and I planted my acacia saplings back so we can we can grow those. And I also wanna plant these 16 jungle saplings, so I need to grab some more dirt as well. Uh, and I'm gonna do that somewhere outside here so we can just get a bunch of wood. That was a bit too excessive to get to the drawers. Uh, can I get outside like this? Oh, definitely, okay. Um, for this, we need 16 dirt, so let's do a... Uh, just this, and let's put it here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna do it like that. Doesn't matter if it's centered or not, it doesn't really do anything. I think these should grow right next to one another. I don't think it should have a problem. Uh, we can even go test that with some bone meal. Or even, I think I have something better. I, I found appetite, or did I not? I have it in my inventory. Oh, I think it's in my backpack. Ah, appetite. 
I also, I don't think I showed this, but I made a builder's wand from, um, from extra utilities because it's the cheapest one that you can make. So if we fortune this, get a bunch of appetite. Oh, hello, slime. And then if we grab some sand, which we can do from here. <clears throat> I believe it's appetite and sand. Yeah. I'm just going to make a stack for the moment. And we can toss appetite. I think it, it can be made into appetite blocks, but we're just going to put it in here. Uh, but this is basically fertilizer or bone meal. And we can also sleep. So for the wood now, we can just bone meal this and it should grow. Possibly not. Oh, you yeah, know, it, it requires vine. It gets vines. So this might not work. Uh, you should be able to grow though. No? Maybe if I put you in the middle. Ha, okay. So we do need to split it up. So let's do that. Put the sand back. Uh, the spruce trees do grow one next to another. So that should be better once we get some spruce wood. Um, but let's do that back that and we're gonna put mm, 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 let's say a two space gap and I don't know I don't know why I removed the dirt from underneath the tree but you know and if we do another two space gap we should have enough space over here and we can even just remove a couple of these for good measure and that should be one two one two two two, two, two. and then if I grab my axe which is low in durability so let's grab a stone or a sharpening kit Let's grab another sharpening kit or, or another two because I can. And then if we do this, it didn't reach to that one little block up there. <laughs> so sad. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And I need backpack, backpack. Take my things that I don't need in me right now. And did you make, it made us Grape seeds. Okay, let me let me do this and get that final piece of wood. Okay, so this do definitely does work and I just don't know if it's gonna reach. Yeah, it doesn't reach all the way to the top, which is kind of sad, but uh, we could possibly set up like a stair case that goes to the middle so the vein miner would reach to the top. But now I just every time I have to do this, I just got to pillar up and get rid of all the trees. Okay, let me set up back the kitchen and then see about showing you the basement and where I want to put the water wheels. For the basement, I decided to just put down some stairs here and it goes down quite a little bit. I'm kind of not okay with this being here because you bump your head in it into it every so often, but I don't know. We'll, we'll maybe remove it, maybe we'll leave it. I don't know. I'll, I'll see. I'll see about it. But I just put in a little bit of wood so it's kind of like a nice entrance way. And then I just dug out a big, a big, big hole. Uh, this wall is where the outside is. So I don't know how I want to put uh, machines in here. I think I'll just put the water wheels here and then we can uh, wall it off and have that like this three blocks be the backbone of the machines where the cabling goes and all that. So I need to put in the water wheels and we can just go one, two, three like that. No, let's put it, let's put it one over. So here, just so it's nice and clean on the back and all the good on that. And then we can put a kinetic dynamo here. And that should be what we need. Then I need to go grab some glass from up top and see how I want to put in the water. Cause there's like optimized setups for these on, uh, on the wiki and on the, on the, on the interwebs. So I'm going to see how I want to set this up, but I know that you need at least one block space here underneath. Uh, and I, you can't really walk through these, but let's just pick up all the cobble that we can. Uh, and my backpack's full of stuff. I also made a bunch of different food just so we can get the bonuses that you get from, <clears throat> I don't know which mod, but the not yet eaten, what does it taste like? You get bonus hearts for that, which is really cool. So yeah, let me grab some water and set this up so we can start producing power. I needed to craft the quest here. Uh, I apparently got the extra utilities complete. I didn't even make the machine block. I just made the generator. So I don't know what should I should take either two water mills, which will give us uh, a total of I believe 32 GP 16 per Yeah, which I think I'll just take these. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, so we get a bit of a boost in GP for the start so we can use the resonator without having to use anything else. 
Uh, so I'll just put those down there. We're going to set them up in the future at some point. But I made the LV wire relays, the LV wire connectors, the wire coil, and the LV capacitor. And that completes the immersive engineering quest over here. So we can claim a loot chest and get two infusion crystals. These have 25 uses. What's the, re what's the recipe for these? It's ender amethyst and an ener energetic infuser. And then how do you get... Uh, so what's the, the re how do you get this? Oh God, oh God, it's Terra Steel, Mana Steel, Gluttony, Greed. So it's the end of Botania and these resonating gems are Aquamarine in, in the Starlight Infusion with Astral Sorcery. So many things, okay, that I don't understand yet know or what we're gonna do with. So you're going in here. Okay, now we need to go downstairs and we can set this up. Over here, I have these guys running. I, th this guy still has zero FE. I don't know if I need to, possibly I need to take these off. It's gonna make the water flow weir very weirdly, but if I do that, that, give it to me. No, place it there. No. Okay, hold up. I decided to add another water wheel, so we make this system kind of complete because we can add two of the things on directly on the LV capacitor, the kinetic dynamos. They weren't showing any power before, but they transmit power. As you can see, we have two, I think it's 200,000 or at least even two million IF. Uh, I think it's two million, it's three, six zeros, yeah. Uh, and I have an LV wire relay over there. The connectors are like inputs and outputs. The relays are just like power or wire holders. I guess you would call them. Uh, so we need the connectors on the machines and the relays can be uh, wherever we want to transfer the power to. So I think I will in between episodes or possibly on stream. I know I haven't been streaming in uh, lately, but I just kind of, uh, I know, I, I think I fell out of it a little bit or I wanna just play other games. I kind of am slightly getting, not the burnout on Minecraft, it's just because this pack is kind of more, more, uh, intense and difficult. It's uh, making me play it kind of less. I mean, I do I, I do play it on the videos. I just don't feel like playing it off camera, if that makes sense. So uh, the problem with this is that this pack requires to be played a lot off camera for it to be uh, to be done completely. But it's okay. We're, we'll, we'll get to the stuff as we will. So over here, I will set up another two water wheels, water wheels at some point and another kinetic dynamo or two kinetic dynamos, but I am currently, I think out of copper. So mining session isn't, is due. So I think I will, I'll, I'll, I'll stick to this. I'll stream today uh, and from six to eight in the evening, my time that is. And uh, we're gonna get some stuff done. We're gonna go some, get some mining done and set up possibly somewhere. Uh, I think it's, we have a cave over here where we can just uh, set up our like little mining outpost and just use this cave as is. Uh, and I wanna possibly on stream get to uh, making some IC2 stuff so we can get to the uh, unbreakable tools cause that will really, really help us with mining and all that. And we can just, uh, we need to level these up quite a bit. So we will need to repair them quite a bit. I could possibly just change them back to obsidian while we go mining and then change them back to night slime once we get get stuff done. But we have a lot of purple slime left so we can just keep it night slime. But yeah, uh, I think this is gonna be it for today. I don't know how long this episode is gonna be. If it's gonna be a little bit shorter, it's gonna be a bit shorter. I don't care. It's okay. <laughs> uh, and I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also consider subscribing to see new videos. Support me on Patreon if you want to play with me on a server that I haven't been playing on recently, but you know, it's okay. We're gonna change the pack soon. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.